Hey guys, Crypto Dad here, and I have some requests on how to use Coinbase Wallet for purchasing meme coins on base, specifically Boomer Token. So I'm going to give you a quick rundown of getting that set up. You always want to make your goal to be to hold crypto in your own wallet. So whenever you're confronted with a new coin, your first thought should be, how do I put this in my own wallet? So I'm going to show you how to do this. Let's get started. All right, so here you can see in my Coinbase account, I have some US dollar coin and I have a little bit of Ethereum. You're going to need Ethereum for your wallet. The Ethereum is like the gas for your lawnmower. So, uh, so you need Ethereum in your wallet for fees, uh, blockchain fees, transfer fees, and trading fees. So uh, all I need to do is get my wallet set up now. So we're gonna use Coinbase Wallet. Remember, Coinbase Wallet is separate from your Coinbase account. Coinbase Wallet is a self-custodial wallet. You control it. It's uh, owned by the company Coinbase, but once you have the wallet set up, you have complete control. It has nothing to do with your Coinbase account. You're going to need to manage your Coinbase Wallet separately. So let's go ahead and get it downloaded. Uh, I'm going to use Chrome. I uh, think Chrome is probably the best browser for doing uh, crypto wallets. It seems to have the least amount of problems in my experience. We'll go ahead and add the extension. All right, and there we go. We can right click on it and pin it. And uh, let's go ahead and access it. All right, I'm gonna create a brand new wallet. I'm assuming a lot of you are just doing this for the first time. You'll get your um, seed phrase here. Uh, you can write it down on a piece of paper or you can copy it into your clipboard and paste it into a text file. This is a little more risky because you're dealing with an electronic version of your backup phrase, but just make sure that you keep it somewhere safe. I would advise you to put the text file on a flash drive and then keep the flash drive separate from your computer. So I'll go ahead and copy this into my clipboard. I'll go over and open a new text file and paste it in. All right, once we've recorded that seed phrase, either written it down or put it in a text file, we'll go ahead and hit continue here. They're going to show you the words, you just need to click them in order. So refer to the list that you wrote down and click these words in that same order. In this case, it's just asking me to click the first and the 12th word. Pretty simple. All right, and I'll hit submit here and we'll create a password. All right, we'll go ahead and hit continue or submit here. Uh, if you wanna do this uh, username thing, you can. All right, and now that we've got the wallet set up, we need to fund it. And we wanna fund this on the base network so we can trade on the base network. That's our intention here. So let's go back over to our Coinbase account and uh, we're going to withdraw this US dollar coin and this Ethereum into our wallet. So just get the address of the wallet by doing receive. Notice that for the Ethereum address, it covers Ethereum, Base, Avalanche, Binance Smart Chain, and Polygon, right? So just copy that address into your clipboard. Go over here to your Coinbase account. And we'll start with the Ethereum. We can click right here where it says Ethereum. All right, and I'll go ahead and send the max. If you've got a lot, please do a, a small test first. I beg of you. <laughs> uh, so we choose network and recipient here. This is the important part. Click here, choose base. Always make sure you choose base. Notice that the base fees are much cheaper than the Ethereum fees. So we'll click base and then we'll uh, acknowledge this and then paste in the address of our wallet. All right, we can just click there and choose send. Oh, we'll do the preview send, uh, look things over, make sure you've got the base network and then click send now. I've got two factor on my Coinbase, so I'll go ahead and enter that. All right, and then we can go back and check our wallet. All right, you can check down here and see that I have a pending outgoing transaction. 
so you have to be a little patient, but you can always double check down here in pending to make sure that it actually went out. All right, you can see that the Ethereum has hit the wallet and notice there's the main Ethereum icon and then the smaller base icon, which indicates that this is base Ethereum or Ethereum in the form of the base network. This would be different than regular Ethereum on the Ethereum network. You need your Ethereum in the base format. That's why we withdrew it on the base network. All right, and then also, uh, if I open up a new browser tab here, I just want you to be aware that uh, this uh, balance is no longer in my Coinbase account, right? The Coinbase wallet is separate from your Coinbase account. I know a lot of people get confused about that. All right, so now what we need to do is put some coins in here for trading. Right, you can trade with your Ethereum tokens, but you always want to leave a balance for fees, blockchain fees, transfer fees, trading fees. So I'm just putting the Ethereum in here for gas fees, right? So I'm going to trade with my US dollar coin. So once again, we need to do a receive. We need to get the address of the wallet. Uh, and we'll still use the Ethereum address. Your US dollar coin, your stable coin, uh, will go to the same address, right? So let's go back over here to our Coinbase account. We'll go to our portfolio, and uh, there's our US dollar coin. We can just click right here where it says on, where, click right here on the word, right? That takes you to the, uh, account interface rather than the trading interface, right? We'll go ahead and send our US dollar coin to the wallet. I've got a small test amount. Please don't send huge amounts until you've got this down. Do small tests, please. Uh, let's go here to network and recipient. Uh, once again, we want to choose the base network. That way we can trade uh, meme coins on the base network. So we'll click base. Uh, we'll acknowledge this, and then we'll paste in our address of our wallet. It even indicates that we've recently used this address. That's fine. We'll do our preview send. Make sure we're on base. Look, they're giving us a free withdrawal. That's pretty cool. We'll hit send now. And I'm going to put in my two-factor code here real quick. All right, so the US dollar coin hit my wallet. Now I'm gonna tell him it was extremely easy. <laughs> okay, now we've got the wallet successfully funded. Notice here that both of these uh, tokens have the base icon down in the corner, which means they are base oriented, right? They're on the base network. So if we would like to buy some meme coin, uh, we can go up here to swap. But before we do that, we want to make sure that we're getting the correct meme coin. So in today's case, I'm going to look up the coin I'm after on CoinGecko. All right, I'll pull up the coin and then I just want to go down here to the contract address and get a hold of that. Now this would hold for any coin that you want to buy. But in today's case, we're uh, dealing with base tokens. So we want to make sure that this token is on the base network. All right, let's go back over to our wallet. Let's go into the swap section. All right, and uh, I've got US dollar coin already lined up because it's available in the wallet. And uh, let's do a small test. Let's just do 20. Fees are very cheap. Now we'll choose our asset. Now when we do that, we'll paste in that contract address. And lo and behold, the coin comes up, right? That way we know we're getting the real coin and not some uh, fake imitation. All right, we'll click find best price. All right, it does a little bit of searching and looks for decentralized exchanges with decent price. It's going to cost us 20 cents here and there's going to be a small network fee, much cheaper than the Ethereum network. We'll hit swap here, and then we'll say done, and we've got the coin in our wallet exactly the way we wanted it. So that's it, it couldn't be simpler. Just get the wallet set up, 
fund the wallet from your Coinbase account. Make sure when you do your withdrawals that you're doing them on the base network so you will have base oriented tokens. Uh, check for the contract address of the coin that you want and use that in the search field uh, to choose the coin. And there you have it. If you have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.